Wanted to take a quick moment to talk a little bit about safety. Um, I make my living doing unnecessary surgery on healthy people. I mean, that's a kind of a trite way to put it, but as a plastic surgeon specializing in cosmetic surgery of the face and breast and body, that's what it is. It's surgery that you don't really need. It's the surgery that you want. And so safety really has to be paramount. And with any elective procedure, one of the most important things that you can look for, certainly first, is board certification. Is your surgeon board certified by the American Board of Plastic Surgery? Um, and in case of facial surgery, you also look at the American Board of Facial Plastic and Reconstructive Surgery. Those are ENTs that are specialty trained. The next thing, and probably even more important than that, <clears throat> is that when you are talking about a surgical procedure, breast augmentation, facelift, liposuction, things like that, is that you want to make sure that whoever is doing your surgery has hospital privileges to do the surgery that you're having. And this doesn't mean you have to have your surgery done in a hospital. Actually, I would kind of argue that it's safer to do it in, in a lot of cases in an outpatient surgery center, but they have to have hospital privileges to do those surgeries in a hospital setting. That means that their training is up to snuff, the hospital credentialing process is rigorous, and the hospitals make sure that your surgeon's credentials and training are up to snuff to be able to perform that procedure and perform it safely. And so that is a great question for anybody considering cosmetic surgery to ask is, do you have privileges at a hospital to do this operation. Um, and so really, I, I can't stress enough to people who are looking for cosmetic surgical procedures, it has to be safe. You want a great outcome, we, we wanna get you a great outcome, but it has to be safe, otherwise it's not a good idea.